Hey guys, Jim Edwards here, and welcome to the official Funnel Scripts podcast, brought to you by permission from the big man himself, Russell Brunson. This is an official ClickFunnels podcast. So I'm your host, Jim Edwards, along with my trusty podcast producer, Stu Smith. Welcome, Stu. Hello. And today we have a first. We have, no, not the first bald man we've ever had on the podcast, but our first guest peer uh, on the podcast. So we want to welcome Mr. Dean Edelson. Welcome, Dean. Hey, thanks for having me, Jim. And Dean, thanks, I'm, 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 we're super glad to have you. I'm not awesome at intros, but the cool thing and the reason that Dean is here, Dean is actually the senior copywriter at ClickFunnels. So many of the cool sales letters that you see churned out now over at ClickFunnels, Dean is the mastermind behind them. So he is definitely an expert at copywriting. He and I work very closely on several projects over the last couple, three, four months. Some things that are going to be coming out in relation to funnel scripts. And uh, you'll want to keep your eyes out for those. But uh, Dean and I actually spent a lot of time together going over and editing a whole bunch of copy and putting stuff together and, and um, became good buddies. And Dean is good people, as they say down here in the swamps of southeastern Virginia. He's good. He's good old boy. So. <laughs> I, uh, and we my, have more teeth than the average good old boy. <laughs> you get my full country boy endorsement. So today what we wanted to do, when, what I, the reason I wanted to have Dean on was because Dean is excellent, and I mean excellent, at editing copy and polishing it up. Something that I used to be good at and then got lazy with, and then Dean reminded me that I probably ought to get good at it again, and so I have become very conscious of polishing up my copy. So I wanted to, to have Dean just come on and talk about polishing copy, and then also injecting emotion into copy, and I thought we would show you guys the revamped FBM, FBA bullet script and with a couple of things that, that should show you that you can inject emotion into just about anything uh, that, that I thought that would be kind of fun. So Dean, Stu had a question for you before we even got started. Then uh, Stu, go ahead. Yes, Dean, I like your background. I'm just, I'm just curious, what is that that is behind you? I hope that's not a to-do list. Because that, that's... <laughs> no, I, <laughs> oh, boy. I, don't, I wouldn't be here if it was. I'd be doing it. So uh, these are reminders for me when I am writing uh, direct response sales copy, things that I need to... Uh, to infuse in my copy. Now, obviously, getting all of that stuff in would be ideal, but if I can get a lot of that in, it would be great. And it, it includes uh, things that we that are really important to remember. Perfect, Jim, just like that. Now I'm trying to read. I'm not showing you the oh. crown of my head, but that's, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's all we see. Yeah. Seven something others. I'm seeing lust, mystique, alarm, prestige, power, vice. Yes. Oh, so that okay. is from Sally Hogshead book called Fascinations. It's fantastic. And those are her seven emotional triggers, um, which that create desire for reading copies. So those are the things that probably we'll, we'll probably spend some time talking about today. Uh, good copy always from the get go, whenever you land on a page, whether it's a landing page or a sales page, you got to capture an audience's attention with all sure. the noise and distraction out there and the messages and Facebook ads, wherever you are, somebody's trying to grab your attention. Well, how do you grab it and keep it from one sentence to the next? So th these are the things that I have to constantly remind myself. I, they're written down because I can't remember them. I can't even remember a fraction of what's on that board. I have... I have stuff all around. I mean, uh, I'll show you. I have, I do the same thing, but I do it with note cards on my um, all around. Yeah. Where I have all these <laughs> yeah. note cards that remind me of this stuff. It's like, oh, okay, I gotta, I'm gonna do a video now. I gotta remember to, I gotta remember this, or I'm gonna do a demo, or I'm gonna do the three secrets, or I'm gonna do 
um, you know, how do you figure out your niche or, or, you know, well, make a fast video. So I, I, I understand that. And, and I think, yeah, we live in a post-it office, right? I mean, that's what it is. We've got these post-it notes. Oh, I've got these random thoughts. Cause if we don't write it down. It's, it goes in and it's gone. And then you're kicking yourself cause you're not saying, oh, what was that? Right. Exactly. And stuff like Russell said something the other day. Um, and I wrote it down and it, it earned pride of place next to another thing. And it just, you, you just, it's that thing to remember to do what you're supposed to do. And you're absolutely right. And it looks to me like that seven list, those are emotion, those trigger emotion. I mean, lust, mystique, alarm, yeah. prestige, power, <laughs> trust. Uh, yeah. Those, and that's, those are just a few of them. There's a, uh, to your left there, there's all of these things that, for reasons that people buy, right. uh, the Perry Belcher listed, which are fantastic. Um, right. So the, the, the list that I committed to memory over time has always been make money, save money, save time, avoid effort, escape pain. And that, it's like there's 10 that I've always gone with that mm -hmm. I can, um, you know, re remember off the top of my head. But those are those are those those are the first five, and trying to remember the other five always doesn't necessarily work for me. And I'm looking through my book here. Um, here we go. Make money, save money, save time, avoid effort, escape pain, get more comfort, achieve greater cleanliness, hygiene, or attain better health, gain praise, feel more loved, increase popularity, or social status. Those are, that's the list that I've always operated off of. Well, you just included, and everything falls everything falls from status too. anything that like even Russell says this in expert secrets, anything that increases status, what are those things? Focus on those things. And it's going to be different depending on the product or service right. that you're selling. Absolutely. So really trying to find the emotion of what's the, the emotion inside of something. A lot of people will look at it, and I've had people ask things like, you know, I sell fun little trinkets. There's, those don't really solve a problem or satisfy a desire. Yeah, they do. You can find it. If people buy stuff, I have found, and, and I'd be interested in, in your thoughts on this, I have found the two main reasons people buy anything is it either satisfies a desire or it solves a problem or both. It could be that you're bored. The problem is I'm bored. I need something to do. Um, but you know, and that satisfies the desire of, I need something to do, but it really comes down to those two things, solve a problem or satisfy a desire. How do you feel about that, Dean? Well, I, I agree. And, and to put those in other words, as Tony Robbins says, we are motivated by two things in life, the avoidance of pain or the pursuit of pleasure. Everything right. stems from that. And you just couched it in, in, in those terms. And that's what it's, what it's all about. Because your copy, you, you, you need something. We're very simple base creatures as human <laughs> beings. Which it's, you know, we're on this planet to survive. How are we going to survive? That's we're going right. to survive through comfort. We're going to survive by avoiding things that are going to hurt us. Yeah. Right? I learned that in biology, it's the three Fs, feeding, fighting, and procreation. Yeah. And procreation starts with an F. That's yes. right. <laughs> this is a clean procreation. <laughs> yeah, you're getting deep show. into the limbic system there of the brain yeah. too. Well, that's well, that. that's where everything right. comes from. Yep. It comes from the what the amygdala and yep. the the you know our the lizard brain. The yeah. lizard brain. It, this is not it, psychology. The, no. You know, this is not it, psychology. This is physiology. Sure, if you really think about absolutely, it. Stu. Yeah. Well, and if you can get, and that's true, because if you can get the, if you can get the emotion going, emotion is created by motion. Emotion is created by feelings in the body. And if you can, if your copy can cause a feeling in the body, a fe feeling of desire, a feeling of fear, a feeling of anticipation, if you can cause feelings in the body, which is caused by the mind, then you can create desire to buy in order to get rid of the feeling or to increase and keep the feeling going. And it's the only way you can get people to buy, Jim. You have to get something in the body moving. And it starts with dumping the dopamine. The dopamine's got to, I want that. Yep. Give it to me. 
How are you going to do that? And you have to do it immediately. Yep. You, you, you've got to. Like you said, emotion. E-motion. Energy in motion. Yep. You got to get the energy in the body going. Absolutely. You got to get those neurons firing. And if you can get that dopamine drop, that's when that, I call it the pop of it's, it's when, it's when the logical brain disengages from the desire to push the button to order. In, in other words, it, there, when someone at the beginning of the buying process, and you probably have a much more sophisticated way of explaining this, but the way I've always- I probably do. There's, <laughs> <laughs> or we could just go real simple and say, this is shopper's high. <laughs> right? This go. is the shopper's high. Yeah. That's what yeah. you want. That's yeah. your, thank you, Stu. That's why I'm here. <laughs> the lizard brain is working at its optimum. Might be Stu's right there, nickname. Stu. Lizard Brain Smith. <laughs> I love that. Actually, yeah. he's pretty good. He might not like it. He's going to yell at me later. I'm going to have to That's apologize right. when we do my other podcast. We all have a reptilian brain. That is true. Some of us use it more than others. <laughs> <laughs> Coin that. <laughs> there you go. So let me ask you this. And, and with your, we're going to talk more about emotion here in a minute, but you and I spend a lot of time together, hours and hours and hours, editing some sales copy. Um, and really taking it to the next level, not, not just, I mean, really polishing it down like a diamond and tell us just kind of, and this could be an hour long conversation, but when you, after you have your first draft, which mm -hmm. funnel scripts is awesome at helping you come up with your first draft, but once you've got a first draft done, however you get it done. What is the process you go through to polish it up? Just, just give us some tips. Sure. So it stems from everything that we've been talking about. So it'll start with whatever the grabber, the hook, and the headline is at the top of a sales letter. So if we're looking at selling a product or service, when is some, every line that I read, is it going to trigger me emotionally? Am I compelled? Okay, so does this first line of copy, does that interest me? Is it going, is it making me go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know, you want to have a little, <laughs> you've got to have an orgasm with everything that you're reading. That's the dopamine dumping. I'd be with you in a hardware store. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. <laughs> got to have a that. Three-eighths hex nut. Oh, oh. <laughs> So, so the first thing you look at is, is the hook there? I mean, is there something that's emotionally going to grab yeah. somebody right from the start? But does this, do I have a bright shining light shining in my eyes? Okay. Is it, is it capturing my attention? What is it? Am I excited to read more? Whether it's drawing me in and it's all based on desire. I have the desire to alleviate my headache. I have a desire to feel better better about myself. One's pain, one's pleasure. Do I have the desire, oh, is this going to help me make more money? Is this going to help me avoid losing money? Right. Right? If I'm in the financial space, I mean, greed's a, the, the massive driver there and fear, fear of missing out. Correct? So yep. is everything going to follow from that? Is the headline, what is it about the headline? So, Again, going back to uh, expert secrets, right? Uh, what are those things? And we could talk about this in any, no matter what you sell, no matter what product or service you sell, you have to look, is there a new opportunity? What's the desire? And what's the, the mechanism, the new mechanism or the vehicle? Is it unique? Because the only thing that's gonna trigger a dopamine release is something that is new, fresh, surprise, something that you've heard, you haven't heard before. I mean, look, if you, if you pick up a, a book and go, you know, I'm, I'm bored. You used the word before. Do I want to read? I've read this story before. Eh. What's on Netflix? Eh, I've seen that. Eh, I've seen that. I, I've seen it. Well, there's, that, that's because there's nothing new. There's nothing fresh. There's nothing innovative. So it's got to be there. So when I'm looking at copy, when I'm editing, are all of these things following? 
am I continue to be interested? And then you have to get into, well, prove it to me. Prove that what you have is new, fresh, and it's going to help me. Right. So what elements of proof do you have? Am I, why hasn't this worked for me? Okay, this, I've tried something like this before. So why should, why would yours work for me now? So now you got to say, look, it's not your fault. Here's why this didn't work for you. I've got something that's going to take you out of that place and show you a different way to get the results you're looking for. Because obviously, you wouldn't be reading this page or anything I've got to say if it wasn't triggering something in you that says, oh, I haven't seen this before. I I haven't thought of this before. I haven't tried this before. Right. So all of this is going through my head at the same time as I'm editing and going through because this is what the reader is going through. They're not able to articulate it, but that lizard brain knows deep down what it is that it doesn't have, it's not getting, but it can get from you. Right. And that's, and, and I think that that's the stage and by doing it that way, they may not, it's like people say, you know, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, but I know it when I'll see it, when I see it. Yeah. And that's the point where that happens. It's like, okay, got it. And that's why using those five, especially those five hooks that Russell teaches inside of Expert Secrets of, and I have to have them right in front of me um, because they're part of ClickFunnel or Funnel Scripts, but it's basically the little known big differences, the well-known little understood, this changes everything, the crystal ball theory to revisiting the fundamentals. Those are five angles you can use to give them the new, the feeling of new, which is really what people are looking for. They want the feeling of new, but they want the security of the familiar or, or the validation that it worked for somebody else already. Right. It has to relate to their problem. So right. that's what's familiar to them. What is the problem that they're trying to solve? Because if right. you can't make that connection, which is the best way to make that connection is through story. And if you can't make that connection, you've lost. Right. You've lost your reader. You've lost your video viewer. You've lost your buyer. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you've got to make the connection. Empathy is critical. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let me ask you this. Would, would, how would you feel about, let's jump over onto funnel scripts and I want to play around with the, the revisions and stuff that I made recently to the FBM FBA bullet script mm-hmm. and just play around with, with inject, with just, I just want to play around with injecting emotion into a couple of things that, that, I think people would get something out of it. It would be a fun thing to do. And the sure. three of us can have some fun. Is that cool? That's very cool. So the first one, and for those of you who are not familiar with Funnel Scripts, basically Funnel Scripts is software that helps you write sales copy for your funnels. We have, I think, over 60 individual online Funnel Scripts to help you do everything from creating webinars to bullets to headlines to email, complete email sequences. We also have downloadable wizards that'll help you create an entire perfect webinar, your video sales letters, um, surveys, um, entire master classes. I mean, this is, this is the, the Rolls Royce of automated software creation. So one of the most important things you're going to do is come up with bullets because bullets are what create pressure inside of people. They're the things that help create curiosity and, and that drive to get people to say, man, I got to have this. And so FBM stands for feature benefit meaning or feature benefit advantage, where instead of most people, when they teach bullets, they teach feature and benefit, what it is and what it does. Mm -hmm. But the best bullets are feature benefit meaning, what it is, what it does, and the emotional impact of that particular feature. So I actually was inspired by Dean. I was playing around with this. Got two different ones I'm going to show you guys. This is one for, I'm actually working on the OTO for my um, Copywriting Secrets book. And so I was putting together some bullets to, for, I was putting together bullets to put into the OTO script here inside of uh, Funnel Scripts which is inside the dot-com secret scripts. So actually was using this, the OTO script, which creates one-time offer 
And so this is, this is the actual offer in here, but I use the bullet script first. And so let me show you the bullets that we came up with. And, and I was actually inspired by Dean. Dean, you will see this um, because Dean loves to play around with different ways of showing the same thing to see which one has the, the most impact. So I actually created two more ways to show these bullets. So I got the conversational bullets, which was the original way of doing them. Then I had the succinct bullets where I take the feature, have that as a standalone thing, and then use this to describe it. And then I have the parenthetical bullets, which creates kind of a yin yang effect. So here's the first one, seven story blueprints you can use instantly. Quickly pull people into your sales copy. You can sell any idea, product, service, or software with the perfect story every time. My step-by-step -step secrets for how to tell an amazing story, confidently tell stories the right way in any situation. You can put the power of stories to work for you and your sales copy, even if you don't consider yourself a storyteller. Grab my million dollar sales story swipe file. See the stories that have made me the most money over the years. You can see the power of stories in action and model them for your own sales copy. Discover the three elements that go into every successful sales story. Ensure, ensure your stories contain each critical element. Your stories will sell like crazy. Whether they're three sentences or three pages long, it doesn't matter and discover how and why stories are hardwired into our caveman brains. Tell the perfect story to sell whatever you, it is you sell. You'll instantly eliminate virtually any and all sales resistance and objections in the minds of your prospects. So what do you think of those bullets, Dean? Those are, I, I like them because I like to use them. I love using parentheticals and you could, I mean, I use them, I, I have a lot of fun with them uh -huh. um, in, like the the latest promo that's running right now, which uh, for Russell is um, the lead funnels sales right. letter. So uh, it's 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 a fun convention to use. It's a slippery way of getting more information. Is and it's also so these are great because what it's like. It's like here's what it is. Here's what it does for you. Feature benefit, and it's right. almost like you're whispering. So you can blah 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 blah. So shh, don't tell anybody. So it's like an inside secret. Exactly. Yes. That's and when you have, when you're whispering a secret to somebody, you're, you're going, oh, 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 oh. You, you know? I don't you, know if I'm Tell me that, that doesn't get the dopamine dumping. Everybody wants to be in on that. Right. Absolutely. What is he saying? How come he's not whispering to me? How right. come she's not talking about me? Right. But there's, here's another way to do it too with you know with highlighting basically the what it is so this is the feature and yep. then the benefit and meaning are down here in the description so that's another way to present these so i want to point out something here that that you that you've done here which is it, it's also extremely effective is that you're using specificity you're saying seven story blueprints right specificity grabs our attention creates desire hmm. what kind of things do you like to do as far as highlighting and bolding and underlining and all that stuff how would you go through i mean i know what i would do but what would you do to go through and and bold these and and do that stuff and all right color. So, and color also how about color yeah. yeah just curious yeah and underline too or italic so anytime Look at the, so if we're talking about bullets here, or any piece of copy, any sentence, look at for that piece of copy that you think has the most gasoline in the tank. Okay. So sell any idea, product, or service. That's, that, if that is the desire of your audience, so it's not just what you think, it has to be, what, what is it my viewer wants? Right. What does my potential prospect customer want? So yes, sell any idea, product, service. Great for bold. I, you know, I love seven story blueprints might be second or third. Also perfect story every time I'm going, Oh, I, that, that's a massive benefit right there. That's a great selling point. Okay. Let me ask you that you said might be second or third. You mean in, in order? Yeah, I'm talking okay. about if you were going to pull something out. So I thought that where you, where you had sell any idea, product or service. First, the word sell, 
Uh -huh. That's why people are buying funnel scripts. You've got to think of the core desire of the people who are buying it. So, so just let me back up a little bit here because okay. there's a lot of stuff going on. So before I came on this, this call, I thought of funnel scripts as a whole, as a, a, a selling tool, correct? Okay. And I thought, what is it? So I put it in the framework of where would I start if I were going to write a sales letter about funnel scripts, um, I, I think about it in terms of new opportunity, desire, and new mechanism. Okay. So if you don't mind, I'd like to share what I wrote. And you tell me if this resonates with you. You may have had something completely different. And the great thing is, is that when you're doing this, and the great thing about funnel scripts is it gives you lots of choices. Right. Right. Because we don't know, we can have an idea, if you're not totally surveying your audience, the best you can do is let me put it out there and test it, okay? So there's no, there's, we don't live in a perfect world. So here's the, the, uh, the core belief of somebody who's buying funnel scripts, okay? okay? Funnel scripts, cranking out high converting sales copy in less than 27 minutes is the key to launching your funnel in record time. And it's only available through funnel scripts. Cool. I like that. So it's something I'm going, okay, where would I start with this? What is the core desire of the audience of somebody who's buying funnel scripts? Well, they, they have click funnels. They've read dot com secrets and, and Mark and um, expert secrets. And so why would they get this? Well, most people don't know how to write sales copy. So what's the core design? So the, the, the new opportunity here is to crank out high converting sales copy in less than 27 minutes. Right. Huge new opportunity. The desire is to launch your funnel in record time. Get your funnel out the door. That's the key desire. And the, the mechanism is, Funnel scripts, right? The only way it can done it. So if you can get your audience to believe that you've won, you've won. That's the core belief that your audience holds. And we, we can play with that. And so you can go back and it takes a lot. It takes thought. Yes. What you've done with funnel scripts is just amazing because you've taken all of these different elements of, of, of persuasive sales, direct response sales copy, and you've put it into this software that's semi-intuitive, right? Right. It's not complete AI, but it's, 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 it's amazing. It's and as close as we can get it right now. Right now. Right. So going back to the bullets, I still think in these terms. Right. So you want me to show them again? Yeah. Okay. So this one, looking at this, let's look at a different example. Okay. Sure. So let's look at an example that somebody over the weekend, I had somebody say, man, I got to do this and I'm not sure how to do it. And so why are you even talking to a person that talks like that to you? I don't know. I, I don't um, believe it. I don't believe they talk like that to him. I don't to be honest with you. I think he does it for <laughs> so, comedic effect. That's true. So this one is somebody in my group said, um, mm -hmm. I gotta I I wanna sell a t shirt for bakers, for for hobby bakers. And they and 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 which funnel script should I use? And I actually went through and used the Brunson Bullet script. And I used the FBM FBA bullet script. And so this is what I came up with. And this is the thing that I want you to wish to play around with some, some bullets and stuff. So this is literally trying to have bullets to sell a, a t-shirt to somebody. So eye catching design, share your baking pride. So the world will know your passion for baking fun way to show off your baking hobby, meet other bakers who see your shirt, um, which means you can create friendships with people who love baking as much as you do. Give an amazing fun gift to yourself and every baker in your life. Show your appreciation for the art of baking. Um, and that means you'll feel the love every baker deserves. Stand out in any crowd of bakers. Be the one that everybody looks at <clears throat> and smiles, um, which means they'll know you're serious about your baking. Enjoy a fun conversation starter. Break the ice at any event or gathering so you'll be the star of the show no matter where you go. So that was trying to make a t-shirt for bakers sexy. What are your thoughts about 
how we could make that better or different or what do you think? So when people buy t-shirts, so look at the one you're wearing now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Show the show, hold up your t-shirt that you're wearing. Okay. Okay. Funnel scripts. Why do you wear it? Um, so people will buy funnel scripts and my wife will be happy because I have, don't have to go get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's no, the real reason? Well, the, the real reason is feeling connection with the brand, feeling connection with what the brand is all about, feeling connection with the community um, that's built around the, the product. So, and he okay. likes, for me, it's connection. He also likes unicorns and rainbows. I love unicorns and some mm -hmm. degree rainbows, depending on their positioning with the unicorn. Okay. Are you proud? I am proud. Okay. And this is uh, the questions I'm going to ask you. It's not about, it's about ego, but it's not about being egotistical. Okay. okay. So <clears throat> it's, so connection is one, which is why we wear it's, it's identity. Okay. It's a huge thing. It's it, you, Jim Edwards equals funnel scripts. Okay. You created it. This is yours. So there's pride, there's status. The things that you're creating are community. You're creating a tribe. All the things that Facebook does. This is why Facebook is the biggest social media platform I'm on using, the planet. I'm using my redneck iPad, by the way. Okay. Right I love down. it. <laughs> okay. So, um, so with the baker, this guy is in love with baking as a hobby, right? Yep. yep. And he knows probably that look and, and the proof is Look at all the baking shows on TV. Yeah. From Iron Chef and Hell's Kitchen and the Great British Bake Off and the Chef Show with John Favreau. Even cele I mean, actors are getting into the game. So obviously I asked the right man about this, right, Stu? Dean's Absolutely. a little closet baker. <laughs> so my wife loves the Great British Bake Off and I'll watch it with her. Okay. And it's fantastic because it's so different than Hell's Kitchen. It's a different approach. So everybody's going to find their thing because they're nice to one another. These are, you know, hobbyist bakers in the kitchen, all baking at the same time. And if somebody's having a problem, somebody will, one baker will drop what they do and they'll go help somebody else. Okay. It's totally different than, you know, the, the Hell's Kitchen type. So get, getting back to this, there's a sense of bonding and community. So um, those are the, 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 when you're thinking of triggers, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking status. So what you, what we wrote down in case you're correct, forgetting connection, pride, identity, status, community slash tribe in love with baking as a hobby. Right. So the end result is these people are baking bread. They're making pastries. They're making desserts. They're making a casserole. So once they make it, they want to be told once they give it to somebody to eat or whoever's judging that, oh my God, Whew, that is the best barley bread I, I have ever eaten. That it's a is, passion. That's, that's the best the cinnamon passion. swirl I've ever put my lips around. It's, it's amazing. What is, does that have rosemary? Does it have thyme in it? What the heck? What are those ingredients? They... <laughs> That's the feeling. So if you can convey that on a t-shirt, that sense of pride, that sense of identity, that sense of fun, the work that goes into it. Nice. You know, I can't believe you're reading this t-shirt with all the powder and dough and flour I've got on it. You know, you, I mean, it's something where you can have fun because most hobbyist bakers are having fun. Even though they screw up and they, oh, I should have baked it at 375 instead of 400. Now I overcooked it. They go through all this, but the end result is, think of the end result. Right. They had fun right. and they fulfilled a passion. They fulfilled a passion. And if you can convey that in these fun t-shirt slogans, you know, you can't get me out of the oven. I'm in the kitchen to stay, you know? <laughs> I love it. Awesome. So that, and, and that's good. I should have called you before I wrote the bullets. 
But, no, 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 but, no, no, no. Those are really good, really good bullets. I would, this is just, it's just more, it's more ingredients in the cake. There, there you go. go. I that, like it. Nice. I like that too. Very well done, Dean. Um, so let me show you the ones I, I made for the, um, using the Brunson bullet uh, script, because these are more just one-off stuff. But this would be one where I think you could use a lot more, I mean, like the, just a rapid fire, bam, 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 bam approach. Mm -hmm. So um, helps you show your baking pride for all the world to see, get you more attention for your world-class baking skills, makes it easy to share your passion for baking with the world, gives you a fun way to start conversations with other hobby bakers, avoid feeling like a wallflower at any family gathering. I didn't <laughs> like that one. The real secret for how to make a lasting impression on all your baker friends, how to give an amazing fun gift to any and every baker in your life, effortlessly show the world that you love baking, quickly stand out in a crowd and share your love of baking with everyone you meet, escape the feeling that your baking hobby is boring and only for nerds, <laughs> discover other people who share your passion for baking and stop worrying about being just another baker in the crowd. So those were kind of more rapid fiery ones instead of the feature bene benefit meaning. Right, which is, which is great. Because when you say rapid fire, you just want to get this out because everything that you've written can stand on its own or it can be a springboard for something else, depending on who's in the kitchen, because everyone may have a little different de desire. So I, those, are, those are fantastic. You know, and one thing, I don't know, and I'm just curious, like this one, show your baking pride for all the world to see. We were talking about hooks and stuff. And I don't know if this happens to you, but when I'm brainstorming bullets, a lot of times I'll have the perfect, or what I think is the perfect headline come. Do you ever brainstorm a bunch of bullets and then take a couple bullets and combine them together and it ends up being the headline? Does that ever happen to you? Oh, sure. And then do you ever brainstorm a bunch of headlines and go, you know, that head, that's not a good headline, but that's an awesome bullet. Yes. I mean, there are great things that you can swap out because if you've got something in a headline that you can't use, let's say, oh man, this is just, this headline's getting confusing. I'm trying to pack in way too much and it's just a distraction. Let's take this piece out and put it in a bullet. Right. Let's put it into the story Yep. in, 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 in the script. And the same thing, because we don't, who thinks in terms of headlines? Right. We think in terms of bullets more often. We, we have a fleeting thought and we say, oh my gosh, that's the kernel for a headline that can drive this entire sales letter or the subject line that can drive this email, right? Or here's the bullet. Oh my gosh, this is a great lead magnet for my landing page. Awesome. So everything is, 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 has the possibility and and that's actually a luxury of being interchangeable. You know, something I'm just looking at this list and then we got to wrap this up, but, and this has been a lot of fun and I appreciate, but you know what? You could use this list for a whole lot of things besides baking. You just described any niche that someone feels really, really connected to feeling a connection, pride, identity, status, community, tribe in love with, Fill in the blank. <laughs> blank as a hobby. Passion. Fun I mean, work. Passion. That that's that's pretty cool. So anyway, I'm gonna I think we're good. Hey, real quick, I have one question for you. We can finish with this one. Uh -huh. Um, you know, we, in your funnel scripts copy that you just read mm -hmm. uh just a minute ago, uh Dean. Yes. You, you hit me with the specificity of twenty seven. Twenty seven minutes. Why twenty seven? Because I thought, um, one, I like odd numbers. I Me love too. numbers that end in seven, nine, or three, or one. Odd numbers just, they, they catch our attention. So okay. I thought, okay, if I, it's, it's a little too short for a sales letter, but something that Jim just showed me, he could probably, you can, if you're doing this and plugging some things in, that probably took maybe 10 minutes. Yeah, it's on the short about, side. But minutes. if you're writing, um, let's say, uh, a landing page or uh, maybe the hook story offer, about 30 minutes to, to plug in what you know. So that's why I chose 30. I didn't want to go uh, make it like, oh, five minutes. That's just, oh, sure. okay, come on. That's BS. It's got to yeah. be believable. It, right. if, if I'm not believable, if you're not believable in anything that you put into your copy, you're going to lose your audience. 
So that's why should I, why, because there's proof elements there because Jim can say, okay, if you're writing just a headline or a hook, bam, we've done this before live in a training, five minutes. You just answer like four or five questions and you, you're churning out bullets. You're churning out headline ideas. Absolutely. Right. So you would say that instead of saying 30 minutes, you would prefer to just say 27 because that yes. caught my attention more than 30? Correct. Or right. I would say if it's 30 minutes, I'd go 31 minutes. Yeah. Okay. And, and use it. I have found with time, just time, anything that has to do with time, what you want to do is have an odd number and you want it to be, you want it to push the edge of believability, but not step over the line so that, and you also don't want to say something that makes somebody go, oh, well, yeah, whatever. It's like you, you don't think about it. So I had a book a long time ago that I wrote with another guy that it was a 30-day plan for how to launch your business and stuff. But we called it 33 Days to Online Profits. And, and it became it. a juggernaut. I mean, it was one of the most popular ebooks of all time right mm -hmm. around the turn of the century. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And Dean and actually you, bought that book back in the day. I bought it. That was the first internet product I ever bought. Wow. And I remember, and can I mention your partner's name on that one? Sure. Yannick Silver. Yeah. I remember yeah. it. And back, Stu, back to your question about odd numbers. Think about this. And this is how it's used on a grand scale globally. Think about gas station prices. Oh, yeah. They're all odd numbers. They end in a seven, a nine, a three. A five, oh. yeah, and yeah. nine tenths. Makes people yeah. stop yeah. and pay attention, yeah. I always wanted to get that nine tenths worth, damn it. <laughs> and I want I, exactly one gallon. So I should be getting one tenth of a cent back. But Where's you, my you know where you're getting that? When you pull the nozzle out and it drips onto the pavement. <laughs> yeah. Under your hand, under your shoe, right. under your pants when you're getting and ready that, to go to church. It's what's wearing the car paint away after five minutes. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Well, Dean, we really, 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 really appreciate you joining us. This was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, educational, and just great. great fun and neat. And, and you're a wonderful guest and a great oh, guy. And, and we really appreciate that. If people want to find out more about you and what you do, where can they go? Uh, they, can, they can go to Funnel Hacking Live. I'll be there. Okay. But they can also um, catch me at uh, OneBigIdeaMarketing.com. And it's the numeral one, OneBigIdeaMarketing.com. Awesome. We appreciate you. And those of you that are already members of Funnel Scripts, go use the scripts that we're showing you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load some new examples in these two bullet scripts, the ones I worked on over the weekend, so you'll be able to play with those. If you're not a member of Funnel Scripts, you should be. And go to FunnelScripts.com for a great training with Russell and myself for three incredible secrets about copywriting plus great uh, demos of Funnel Scripts. And if you're on the fence and you've already decided, you know what, it's time to get off the fence, we have emotionally involved you in funnel scripts, then head on over to funnelscripts.com forward slash go sign up. We do not have monthly or yearly billing anymore. You pay one time and have unlimited access to funnel scripts, never pay again. So thank you, Dean. Thank you, Stu. Great job, fellas. And uh, thanks everybody for joining us live for funnel scripts live. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye everybody.